field parameters were great, and now it gets even better with dynamic sort of child filters that you can switch on. I'll show you how. Let's go. If you haven't turned on the preview feature for field parameters, you have to go to the preview features file, options and settings options, down to preview, and go to field parameters and turn that on. Uh, I've done a video on this already, a little link will pop up, check it out. Okay, so let me hide this. Let's do the basics. So here we go, new parameter, fields. Let's just call this selected category. And to make it really obvious, I'll call it parent. And I just wanna be able to toggle between, uh, let's go my customer table, I'll go customer group, and let's pick brand and coffee strength. Okay, create. So here's my nice dynamic slicer, okay? And let me just make the font bigger, so values, and we'll just increase the size here. Okay, so what does this give us? Well, it gives us the ability to drop this new parameter here, okay? Drop this new parameter into a particular um, visual. So for example, into this one, drag it into the axis. So we've got brand or click on this customer group or click on this coffee strength. All right, which is great. But up until now, if you try to then do a sub slicer, so I want to turn this into a slicer, maybe to control this chart, check it out. If I change this to a slicer, oh, it's just showing exactly the same as this one. Brand, oh, that's not, that's not really what I'm after. So now there's a right click. So you come down here, you right click on this, and you say show values of selected field, okay? Make sure, I was almost on the wrong one, make sure you're on the right slicer. So on this one, right click, show values, and now we've got this beautiful little sub slicer, this child to this parent, okay? Let me just copy and paste that formatting so we can all see it working. So we go customer group and cafe franchise, see it changes, gift shops, and so on, or I can say brand is the reboot brand, or coffee strength is medium. So there we go, you can do it, you can copy paste, control C, control V, okay, and you could right click here and say show values of selected field, so you can create the slicer that way, whichever way you wanna create it, okay. You can just create a slicer, even from scratch, okay, create a slicer from scratch, drag this in, and then click on, right click on this and say show values of selected field. And there we go. We've now got the ability to slice and dice through these things. There you go. Hope you find that useful. I think it's not as intuitive as it could be, but it's not hard. So hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Catch you later.